All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to install Sigwin and show you how you can get some Linux command line utilities in Windows command prompt. I am running on Windows 7 right now. Um, I've done this on my laptop as well. I'm currently on my desktop. I wanted to do a clean install to show you guys all the way through. So first thing you wanna do, come to sigwin.com and then you go to install Sigwin. Depending on if you're running on 32-bit uh, or 64-bit, you'll choose the correct package. I'm on 64-bit. And it's really small. 945 kilobytes right here. So, shouldn't take long to download. Now, you wanna keep this program. This is the Sigwin setup program. Sigwin, every time you want to install new packages, you're going to run this program. So keep track of this, or you can always come back and download it again. So I'm just going to do install from internet, and then I just leave it at the default, which is C Sigwin64, which is directly in your uh, C drive. Which actually, I think I'm going to change that because my drives are getting low. Nah, I won't worry about it. I've got 25 gigs, I'm fine. Okay, so just leave it all users, or unless you want to do just me for whatever reason. But I'd like to just leave it all users. And then, now here, your local package directory, this is actually defaulting to my browser's binary folder. I don't know why. So I like to just do C and then Psi packages. Just so I can keep track of it and I remember where they are. Um, this is where it's going to download all the package files and if a download doesn't complete or an install doesn't complete or you only want to download the files and not install them, you can come back to here and all the installers and everything will be here. And because I just typed this in, it doesn't exist, so I'm just gonna hit yes. It'll create it for me. I have a direct connection to the internet. You can set up your proxy settings. And it's gonna go check the Sigwin website and see all the mirrors available. To All of these are the websites that are hosting files right now. Now, since we're in Salt Lake City, I am going to choose X Mission. Uh, you can hold control and select as many as you want. Uh, and then just hit, or you can add your own right here. Uh, hit next and it's gonna go scan the servers and look at all the packages they have available on those servers. This should not take too long. So right now I'm not going to install anything. Um, like you can go here and install GNOME or KDE or if you've got Emacs you want to install or whatever. Go ahead and go through here. But I'm just going to go hit next. And right now it's going to install the basic Sigwin packages. Let's hit next. And it's going to go through, download them and install them. Which this may take a long time depending on the speed of the servers you select and also the number of packages you select. If you go through and select every single package, there's like hundreds of packages in here. It's going to take you a long time to download, so this may have to run for a while. Just keep that in mind. I'm going to pause here and come back when this is done all right so after it's done downloading it's gonna start immediately installing them uh, depending on number of packages you choose and the speed of your computer this may take a long time or it may go relatively fast in this case it's going relatively fast and this should be done in a few seconds I've done this both on Windows 7 and Windows 8 with no issues whatsoever, so... I think you could probably do this on XP and Vista with no issues either. It's just, uh... Editing a path variable, really. As long as you don't mess that up, you'll be fine. It's pretty easy. Which, I'll be showing you guys all that... Alright, so while this is finishing up, 
and you can choose whether to do icons on your desktop or in your start menu. Just gonna hit finish. All right, so now it's installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a command prompt. Now I installed it to my main CD drive. So I'm gonna CD up to the main drive and then CD into Sigwin. And then once you're in Sigwin64, you wanna CD to the bin directory. And in here you have all of your programs. I'm just gonna run the Windows directory command and you can see all the files in here. You do not have to remember the name of all of these. If you remember your Unix and Linux commands, it's the exact same thing. So if I run ls, it runs the ls command. If I run man ls, it runs the man command. Right here in command prompt. So this is nice, but currently you have to be inside the bin folder to do this. So we're gonna make it so that you don't have to be in bin. You can be anywhere in Windows as long as you're in uh, command prompts, so you'll be able to use it. So I'm gonna go to where I installed Sigwin. Sigwin 6, I'm sorry. C Sigwin 64 bin. Just copy this entire folder name. If you installed 32 bit, it should just be Sigwin or Sigwin 32, I'm not sure how it is. I haven't had a 32-bit OS in forever, so what you're going to do is come over here, it's going to say computer, uh, my PC, or whatever, depending on version of Windows, NXP. You have to go th through control panel to get here, I think, or to get to where I'm going. I just hit properties, and then you hit advanced system settings right here. And then this is the system properties window. In the advanced tab, if you're not already there, you want to click environment variables. And here's all the environment variables for your user profile and your computer. So in the system variables area, you want to scroll down until you find path. And then you want to hit edit. So it should be highlighted. Make sure you do not delete this because this can cause your computer to not work properly. So I just hit the right arrow key on the keyboard and then you want to insert a semicolon paste in what you just copied and then I always put a trailing slash at the end and then you want to hit OK hit OK and hit OK here and close all those and now you're good to go now what you'll notice is that if I CD out of here I can't run the LS command and that's because the environment variables have not been loaded so what you need to do now is restart your computer, which I'm going to do and then come back. And when you do that, it will you'll be able to run these commands anywhere, and I'll be able to show you that too. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back now. And let's get the command prompt up. All right, so just re rebooted Windows 7. And now I can run ls, and it will run... So all the files and folders, I can run, I don't know, I thought, oh, I can run VI, yeah, I know a lot of people like that, I can run man, command, there's no manual entry for VI, okay, it's ls, and I'm not in Sigwin folder right now. I am just running regular command prompt and it's in my home directory right now. So all it took is pasting it the bin folder into the path. Um, I think that is it. You can go to sigwin.com or sigwin.org. They own both domains and just install Sigwin. If you need any help, let me know.